Alright, we're up against Airborne Man. Go first, always go first. Going first is ridiculously good. Play the gingerbread cabin first, because that and the forest are the only two forests we have in hand, so the odds of us getting it down untapped are very low. Now we play the Paradise Druid. Oh great, island. My least favorite color to see. Thought erasure. Every time. Every time. How do they have thought erasure every single time? It's just unfair. It's ridiculous. You're a dance of the Mance deck? I'm tempted to concede right now because I hate this matchup. I hate, I hate Dance of the Man's decks. Loathe them. I should have played the Gingerbread Cabin since I wasn't going to play King. Even if he wipes it, we can bring it back and play our Great Henge next turn. Good bounce, and we got the dickweed. Just bounce it, we all know that's what you're gonna do. I've got time. Don't look at my lands. I don't want you doing that. They're green lands. Let them be. That was dumb. We can just bring our troll cat. We can just bring our freaking troll thing back. We have six feet. We have two great hinges. So even if he counters it, we still get to play it. Might be a bad idea. There's a very good chance he has Kaya's Wrath. So we hold off from playing anything until after combat because we want to make him use the Wrath if he has it. Do you have the wrath? Okay. You want me to phase you out of time? Now 
now we can just play our own to our heart's content. Take action, grab another growth chamber guardian. Slam down another growth chamber guardian. Draw another card. Draw another growth chamber guardian. Forgot, but we still have three food. Wait, wait, what why didn't it let me do it? Why didn't it let me respond? That's more like it. What? I should have had full control on fucking interface. I could have walked back the feasting troll king. <sighs> that was the whole thing on his back. Am I wrong? Do you just not get a chance to bring it back there? I thought it would stop me and let me bring it back. doesn't have whatever he's looking for, which is probably a Kaya's Wrath. Looks like he doesn't you know, want to the top, so he found what he was looking for. What do you got, airborne man? You're staring down lethal. anything? Oh, well, you wanted everything to get hit. Even if he has a wrath, we win. He has to have two wraths. And now he has to have one wrath. He loses. Because planar cleansing doesn't do it. dude.
There you go. Alright, so we want to leave the Wicked Wolves in just for the Indestructible. We don't want Love Struck Beast. We want Veil of Summer. We want Shifting Ceratops. Instead of the Voracious Hydras. And what else? What else do we cut? Paradise Droid? You have Wraths a lot, so I'm not super excited to see Paradise Droids. We cut the Paradise Druids for those. Um, Paradise Druid, Planar Cleansing does not kill Nissa lands. Maybe we get the Nissa lands in there. Um, cut the Growth Chamber Guardians. Get Nissa. And get a Thrashing Brontodon in there. No, I'll put in Paradise Druid. Cut all the Paradise Druids and play Thrashing Brontodon. That's a good hand. It's slow, but our opponent plays a slow game. What do you got? Do we fail this? I don't think we do. Looks like a wicked wolf. Destructible. the worst possible thing. Yep, he's just gonna play Doom Foretold all day. Play his Dance of the Mance deck. Yep. Should've left in the Growth Chamber Guardians. Alright, we can kill it. Make him sack something first.
What do you got? You still haven't cracked that fabled passage. What's up with that? That's really weird. tries to remove it, we can just Veil of Summer, and if he doesn't, well, we'll get to play the Great Henge next turn, and possibly play a creature if we draw that. That's what we're, we're not going to play the Great Henge until we have a creature we can play on top of it to get at least one card draw off of it. <sighs> because we are playing a long game here, because our opponent is playing a very controlly deck. goal is to not let us stick anything to the board. I'm known for my excellent timing. No, I am not making this up as I go. I the extra draw a bit by bouncing. Oh, I can't cast Veil of Summer now that he has Teferi out! Fucking shit! I hate Teferi. Teferi is just a stupid call. Veil of Summer when he cast a fairy. I forgot I couldn't Veil of Summer in response. I'm not used to running instants against a fairy. I've been playing so much green and super friends and stuff. I'm just not used to doing things at instant speed. Dealing with a fairy stopping that.
three mana bounce draw a card is still really good. See our opponent deal with this. Kaya's Wrath. It's the best you've got. You can't Kaya's Wrath unless you have another land, and it looked like you were digging for lands there. Murderous Rider to block. Probably gonna wrath. Oh, we win. Fuck your stupid Esper control deck. 